Everyone is talking about relocating to Las Vegas now more than ever, but no one is talking about how living in Las Vegas is simply not the same as it used to be. The reality is, it's actually better than ever. From the new developments, to the quality of life, to the real estate growth, life's out here is so much better. In today's video, I'll be covering why living in Las Vegas is one of the best places you can call home. As I give you my opinion on why this is true, be sure to share with me in the comments what your thoughts are. Now let's start this video right off by getting into the exciting developments currently going on in Las Vegas, as well as things that are still on the way. One of the most exciting projects to date is the Brightline West High Speed Rail Project that will be a game changer for travel between Las Vegas and Southern California. This project is gonna span 218 miles and it will connect Las Vegas to the Victorville area near Los Angeles with the potential for future extensions. Some of the key benefits of this high-speed train is gonna be reduced travel time, an economic boost, sustainability, as well as job growth. Right now, the drive between Las Vegas and LA can take about four hours or even more with traffic. With the Brightline West, travel times can be projected to be about two and a half hours, and this is gonna provide a faster, more convenient alternative to driving or flying. The trains are expected to go about 180 miles per hour, and that's gonna cut down delays significantly. Since Las Vegas and LA are both major cities that people travel back and forth between, connecting these two cities through this Brightline West train is gonna be an economy boost for both areas. Now, Las Vegas, we can see an increase in tourism, business, as well as real estate investments, and then Southern California is gonna see an easily travel way to get from Las Vegas to LA for conventions, business meetings, as well as getaways. California's economy could also benefit when you connect two of the most popular travel destinations in the country. Now this project is also gonna offer environmental benefits by reducing the number of cars that are gonna be on the road. The thing about Brightline West that you need to know is it's gonna be a zero emission train system and it's gonna provide an eco-friendly travel alternative. No matter how you feel about climate change, we can all agree that decreasing the carbon emissions and lessening the traffic on the road along I-15 is a good idea. And if you don't believe me, I need you to sit on the I-15 going back and forth from LA to Las Vegas on a busy holiday weekend and you tell me how long it takes you. The rail line's construction is expected to create thousands of jobs, both directly in building the rail, as well as indirectly by supporting the infrastructure. Now the Brightline West High Speed Railroad system has the potential to revolutionize travel similar to how it worked in other countries like Japan. The project currently is underway and is expected to be completed in 2028. Now there are other projects going on in Las Vegas that you can look forward to. And I've said it many times on my channel that Las Vegas is known as the entertainment capital of the world. And now that there's progress moving forward of it becoming a Hollywood 2.0, there's a lot that you can look forward to. As this development moves forward, the city's infrastructure, workforce, and the landscape will undergo a major transformation. When Las Vegas becomes a secondary hub for the entertainment industry, an increase in production studios, sound stages, and film sets will create a variety of jobs across different sectors. This can be anything from directors, actors, production assistants, to set designers and local crew members. This could also attract talent from all over the country and provide new opportunities for the local residents. Post-production processes like editing, special effects, sound design could also do well in Las Vegas, leading to an influx in tech jobs and media and entertainment. Las Vegas already thrives in tourism and a booming entertainment production sector will enhance the draw of fans for movie premieres, red carpet events, or sets and filming locations. This is also going to help increase foot traffic in the hotels and casinos, restaurants, and tourism-driven businesses. We all know that Las Vegas' economy heavily relies on gaming and tourism, and a Hollywood 2.0 can diversify the influx of entertainment-related industries. This would also make the city less vulnerable to downturns in travel and hospitality in the event we experience another worldwide pandemic like we saw in 2020. There will also be a major tax incentive to attract film and television production companies to be in Las Vegas. Right now, Sony is already on board with development and Warner Brothers is in progress. Las Vegas could expand its footprint by hosting new film festivals, award shows, and music industry events. Because cities like Los Angeles and New York have been a dominant factor in the center of entertainment for a long time, Las Vegas could compete with lower cost for productions or unique film locations nearby in the desert. As more entertainment professionals move to Las Vegas, the city will experience a surge in the demand for housing. Now, a development that everyone has grown to love in Las Vegas is the sports scene. Their introduction of sports teams to Las Vegas like the Las Vegas Aces, the Las Vegas Raiders, and the Las Vegas Golden Knights has transformed Las Vegas. Las Vegas is now building a reputation as a major sports capital. The Las Vegas Golden Knights were the city's first professional sports team in 2017. 
Now they captured the support of all the locals during their first season right off the bat because they made it all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals. Then then you also have the Las Vegas Aces who are back-to-back WNBA champions who had a disappointing year this year, but I'm sure they're going to be back next year. There's also the Raiders who still have some work to do as far as talent on the field, but they do have an incredible stadium that hosts a variety of events like Super Bowl, Beyonce, WrestleMania, and a major college football game. Allegiant Stadium is a state-of-the-art 65,000-seat venue that draws thousands of -of out-of-town visitors for games, concerts, and other events. Now, football season has become a significant driver of tourism here in Las Vegas with fans across the country coming to Las Vegas for game day weekends. Now, let's talk about how the arrival of all of these professional teams has led to a significant amount of job creation not only within the teams, and stadiums, but also within the hospitality, construction, and retail space. Real estate demand has also increased as more people are drawn to the city either to work in the sports industry or simply live closer to all the action and entertainment options. Now with the success of the Aces and the Golden Knights, it has opened the door for future sports expansion here in Las Vegas. So much so, other leagues have already considered and made decisions on relocating to Las Vegas, including the MLB, who has elected to send the Oakland Athletics here to Las Vegas. The Oakland Athletics have already begun building their new stadium here, and it's going to be held on the site of the old Tropicana Hotel. They will be building a brand new $1.5 billion 30-seat stadium that will be ready in 2028. Now, the NBA hasn't officially declared Las Vegas as their new host city, but the writing is on the wall, and it's a matter of when, not if. They just signed a new media rights deal worth billions of dollars, and this market is somewhere where they know they can do well in. They're even coming back to Las Vegas next month for their second annual mid-season tournament that'll be held at T-Mobile Arena. Now let's get into the real estate market and trends that I'm seeing for the better. In many markets across the entire country, including Las Vegas, home prices are continuing to go up. And according to recent data, home values have appreciated significantly over the past few years, and it's fueled by high demand and limited inventory. As of 2024, the national medium home price remains higher than pre-pandemic levels, although the rate of appreciation has cooled down in some markets. Now with low housing inventory as one of the main drivers of the rising home values, many markets, especially like Las Vegas, are seeing demand outpace supply. Now this is gonna create competitive bidding situations and it's gonna drive prices to go up even higher. Buyers are often competing over fewer listings, contributing to an overall price growth. And suburbs and smaller cities around Las Vegas areas are seeing increase in home values as well. Cities like North Las Vegas and Henderson have seen surges in both home values as well as new housing developments as well. And with the rise of master plan communities, this is gonna be a key trend in Las Vegas where you have neighborhoods like Ascension, as well as Inspirata that are gonna offer a blend of residential, commercial, and recreational spaces. These developments are gonna cater to buyers who seek amenities such as parks, pools, schools, and retail centers all within a close proximity of their home. There also has been an uptick in development of luxury homes as well as condos. For instance, Las Vegas is seeing new high-end developments catering to higher luxury buyers looking for upscale living, close to entertainment, shopping, as well as dining. You can find these options at the new Four Seasons residencies in Henderson, Cello Tower downtown, or with luxury home builder Blue Heron. For both homeowners and investors, the current real estate landscape has several opportunities. As home prices continue to go up, affordability issues have caused many potential buyers to remain renters. Now, if you're on the investing side, you can take advantage of this trend, especially in a city like Las Vegas, where you have a booming job market and population growth is strong. When you're in a tourist heavy city like Las Vegas, a short-term rental market is also gonna continue to thrive. Las Vegas currently is a hot spot for Airbnb and vacation rentals where investors who focus on short-term rentals prioritize because they know that they can capitalize off of a steady tourist traffic, high occupancy rates, as well as elevated nightly rates. And with home values continuing to rise, homeowners as well as long-term real estate investors can benefit from the continued appreciation of the home properties. As home prices continue to grow, so will your equity, and that's gonna provide a solid return on your investment if you're willing to wait. Now, if you're interested on the new construction development side, buying a new property on a newly developed community is gonna be another way that you can capitalize on the growth trends here in Las Vegas. You have many master plan communities that are attracting a high influx of buyers due to the built-in amenities and community feel, and that's gonna make it an attractive destination for both resale and rental markets. Now, you're also gonna see a growing trend of mixed-use developments where residential, retail, as well as office spaces are in the same building. Projects like the Uncommons, The Bend, 
Chicken and Pickle, The Boulevard, all of these have offerings that residents love visiting. And with the current real estate market, this is gonna offer an opportunity for both homeowners as well as investors. With rising home values, strong rental demand, and growth in new housing developments, investors can also find opportunities in both residential as well as commercial. Whether you're new to my channel or you've been here for a while, let me reintroduce myself. My name is Chris Brown and I'm a real estate advisor with Simply Vegas. Here on my channel, I'll help you find your new home, whether you're a local or relocating from somewhere else. I'd appreciate it if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell so you don't miss any of the good, the bad, the ugly about living in Las Vegas. If you happen to be watching on the TV, scan the QR code on the screen. And if you would like to reach out to me directly, you can use my contact information linked in the description below. Now here on my channel, I talk a lot about lifestyle in Las Vegas. There's also a lot to say when it comes to how diverse this city is in comparison to others. Diversity is transforming and growing in the local lifestyle landscape of Las Vegas. One of the most noticeable impacts of cultural diversity here in Las Vegas is gonna be the food scene. You can find a wide variety of global cuisines, new restaurants, food festivals, and events that bring together all the different flavors from around the world. Nearly every major chef in the world aspires to have a restaurant in Las Vegas, or they currently have one. Now with diversity in communities, you can see more cultural festivals celebrating the traditions, music, and arts of various ethnic groups. Art galleries are primarily in the arts district where I am today, showcasing a variety of work from artists from all different backgrounds. As educational institutions grow, you see more cultural diversity in the schools as well. Cultural diversity has also sparked a rise in businesses owned by minority entrepreneurs. From tech startups to retail and hospitality ventures, diverse business owners are contributing to the overall growth of the local economy here in Las Vegas. Now, as Las Vegas continues to grow and evolve, there's gonna be new laws and policies that are gonna be able to help address the challenges and improve the overall quality of life for the residents. And with home prices, as well as rent continuing to rise, Nevada has enacted legislation to improve that housing affordability. Recent laws have focused on increasing the supply of affordable housing by incentivizing developers to include affordable units and projects and provide subsidies or tax credits for low-income housing. Now, there are gonna be new regulations that are gonna be introduced to protect tenants from unfair evictions, as well as excessive rent increases. For example, recent legislation has sought to improve transparency in lease agreements and limit how much landlords can raise rent within a given time frame. This is aimed at creating a more stable housing market for renters. Nevada also has been at the forefront of renewable energy adoption because they passed legislation that requires utility companies to generate a certain percentage of their power from renewable sources like solar as well as wind. And given Nevada's desert climate, water conservation is always gonna be a top priority for the city. There are new laws in Nevada that are gonna encourage water efficient landscaping, restrict non-functional grass in public and commercial spaces, and promote the use of smart irrigation systems. At this point in the video, I wanna ask you a quick question. How do you think these changes on diversity and new laws are impacting the everyday life of Las Vegas locals? Share with me your thoughts in the comments. Now I wanna briefly talk about communities here in Las Vegas. Communities in Las Vegas are gonna continually evolve and meet the needs of all the residents, and they're gonna have new initiatives that are gonna improve the overall quality of life. Some key types of community programs that are gonna make a positive impact are gonna be wellness programs, environmental, educational, and neighborhood improvements. You also now have community centers that are gonna be offering a variety of health and wellness programs, such as free yoga classes, group fitness, nutritional workshops, as well as walking clubs. These initiatives are gonna to aim to promote a healthier lifestyle by making fitness accessibility to all residents, especially those who might not have the means to go to the gym. And when it comes to education, we all know Nevada education has not always had the best praise when it comes to students, but to prepare students for future job markets, many communities are investing in STEM education, which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. These programs are often held at local schools, libraries, and they're gonna offer coding classes, robotics, workshops, and science fairs. With the launch of all these new community programs, it reflects a growing effort to address the evolving needs of the diverse population here in Las Vegas. When you promote education, health, sustainability, and community engagement, these initiatives not only enhance the quality of life for residents, but it also strengthens the community. For more videos about relocating to Las Vegas or Henderson, click on one of the other videos on the screen. I appreciate you all watching. I'll see you on the next one.